you have cancer? They found it yesterday. They found it yesterday? Who found it? My cleaning lady found it in the back of my jeans. Who do you think found it? You're young. Young people beat cancer all the time. Every celebrity beats cancer. Dr. Dexter, Lance Armstrong, he keeps getting it. Sidereel sat down with Seth Rogen and writer Will Reiser to talk about their latest film, 50-50. I think I'm similar in some ways to the character, but I, uh, I don't think I was ever as... He doesn't talk to women. The yeah, way I was that never as sexually does. driven as the, as yeah. the character is. We're too. Yeah, yeah, we're we're, we're, we're we're much bigger wimps than that. We don't know. I, we didn't at that age. We didn't. I mean, we still don't know how to talk to women. But, but I think like behaviorally, the dynamic in of the guys in the movie is very similar to what our dynamic was at that time. Yeah, I, think, I was really neurotic and I worried all the time. And I and made I, fun of him. And so he made fun and of me. And said and I said horrible things at a slightly too loud volume. Yeah. <laughs> you really think that a girl's gonna go for me just because I have cancer? For the millionth time, yes! I have cancer. I was wrong. Nice it was, it was weird. It's yeah. weird like that. Yeah, it's not, too it, it doesn't sound cool. The, the idea for the movie started with just discussions we were having six years ago when I was actually sick, and we were talking about how, you know, people would come up to me with, with all these questions and misconceptions about the idea of cancer, and they were all based off of movies they had seen, you know, and, and we, we would just talk about how every movie about cancer, you know, it's sort of a very similar plot line where it's someone who's very unhappy with his life, who's sort of a misanthrope, who, you know, ends up, you know, discovering himself and seeing the meaning of life, and then he dies the next day. And we kind of felt like cancer movies are always really sad and depressing, and for us, it was, it was difficult and it was sad and it was painful at times, but it was also really funny. I mean, we're comedy writers and, you know, and... I lived, and I and we felt like you know there was there was no real d depiction in a cancer movie of what it was actually like for us. So yeah. So after I got better, Seth really urged me to uh, to write about it. Don't do it. I, I thought like, you said you liked to do it. Look weird. Come on, let's just do it. What do you use this for? They're body trimmers. So <sighs> what is that? How do you feel about the poster? Speaking of, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. You like that face you're making? It's a real face. It's completely genuine. That is, that, I mean, that's a, that's not a still. That's a frame from the movie. I mean, uh, that's not posed. That's literally my reaction to him shaving his head in the most in the most genuine in the most genuine of ways. Fifty fifty. Nice head. Can I touch it? You can do more than touch it. 